What the truck, buddy? Hi guys. it off too it, it really fits nice it's, it's tight it matches the bumper well you know they did a phenomenal job on this now this 2011 Raptor is a stage one This is actually a 79 Bronco we cut in half. Then we took it and we pulled it apart and we stuck a B pillar out of a 79 crew and then we stretched each door four inches. Wow. And the glass has a 6% curvature to it. So in order to find the glass was we had to have it custom made. And you can see we installed the custom the 2011 keypad in it. Now when we build these, everything is 2011 we put the door latches in you can hear the dinger started as soon as we open the door the floorboards the dash everything is 2011 raptor this thing is beautiful i love that you guys wanted the newer raptor uh seat covers on it too it really sets off the truck headliner wow yeah, usually the dinging's annoying, but on an old vehicle, you're like, oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> well, it's definitely unique anyway. Yeah. But we wanted to, part of the reason we wanted to stretch the cab is just because you got that extra room in the back seat, you know. So this is eight inches longer than any other crew cab that you'll ever get in. Stock 79. Just to give everybody a little bit of a example, can you show them, hop in, show them how much space and room there is in there? Yeah. And Dan's not a small guy by any means. Plenty of it. I mean, this is just great. What was that? You got a. Well, we won an award at the Good Guys Car Show just a little bit ago for the best Ford, which was pretty exciting. You know, man's just a small outfit out of Wyoming, and we're here we are in Scottsdale, Arizona. So. Going up against some of the biggest and best trucks, period. Yeah. That is fantastic. One of the things we really like to do is when we we put the we take the B pillar apart and we put reinforce the seat belts in them. So it's not just a nut welded into a piece of tin. We actually have support in behind them. So and then one of the other things we like to do is like on this this pickup or Bronco, we took the the structure from behind the seat in the new pickup. Okay. We put it in there so when your seat hooks into it, it's hooked in into factory stuff so you can hook your child's seat into it and everything. I mean, that is just like Ford designed it. Wow. The newer Raptor. Wow. I mean, we go to the details of even no gas cap. Oh, you molded this whole thing in. And so the suspension on this is complete Raptor. It's got the pretty much what the trail cameras the whatever a raptor would have right whatever, I, I don't know raptors too well they came out factory with this has unfortunately this one doesn't have a rock crawling camera in it but okay it does have the rear backup camera in it man does this look good what's nice about what we do is this is where the factory hitch and everything can come out at all the wiring never gets cut, spliced. It's all factory wiring. So you can hook onto that and you have the same towing capacity as you do with the new Raptor when it comes out. Wow. I mean, you guys really finish it out. I mean, we still have a little bit of car show stuff in here so you can see the chairs, but paneled the entire thing. I mean, 
it's a really really nice truck and i mean what's what's your guys game plan with the, this truck or these types of trucks like what do you do with them it's time to start selling them we've been building them and you know we've wanted to prove out our concept before we put them really on the market so it's time to start selling them so what what is this one is this for sale or it will it is for sale actually and it's right at 200 right at 200 dude honestly a lot of people are going to pretend that that's a lot of money but what they don't understand is it's a lot of truck for the money and it's very reliable i mean you got the svt shocks on there and those are fox correct fox svt yep yep i mean standard raptor yeah this but a, a raptor is not standard no, yeah that's true <laughs> it's all svt but one of the glorious parts about what we build is you don't ever have to bring it back to us because this is all the factory wiring is here you take this to ford they plug it in they have all the parts on the shelf we haven't modified anything underneath that is great well it, it's just great because i mean our, our proof of concept pickup we've drove it seventy three thousand miles that one and we actually because we haven't had a chance to quite finish this one yet we actually pulled this down here with our proof of concept yes you did and uh what kind of trip was that? You know, it wasn't an easy trek, right? Well, no, whenever you're worried about making sure you're in four wheel drive because the next big hill and you're in the middle of a blizzard and you got all four spinning trying to get up the hill before you get to this area, it was intense. Sounds like a lot of fun. It was actually a lot of fun, <laughs> but for some of us. <laughs> that is great. And uh, I mean, I love that you guys go with basically every inch of how these trucks came and that way you know that it's just a perfect setup um we also show them under the hood yeah perfect you guys so one of the things that you don't you don't really understand unless you see the truck is it just it has such a presence and it just shows so well and it's such a unique truck like we were out here now um this is good guys weekend so we were out here and there's probably i don't know 30 40 trucks there was a ton there's actually another uh, crew cab bronco and they were parked right next to each other and you just see them next to each other it's a complete difference and everybody's looking at this like what the independent front suspension what the look at that dashboard look at that it's just so cool and uh here it is the heart what is that stage one roush system on it so it's only a 540 horse engine only only it, it's great actually Arizona dust. Usually this is a lot more details, fellas, so don't give them a give them too much trouble. I really I really really love this truck. I mean, I might need to try to convince my wife to mortgage the house or something. But uh honestly, like this is the most ultimate daily driver. You don't get better than this. No. No, and you know where everybody knows the factory Raptors run 200,000 plus, you know. How much better can you get? You get a classic that you can drive every day. Absolutely. And uh I guess let's let's take her out a little bit and rip on her, right? All right, let's do it. Awesome. You guys are in for a treat. Stay tuned. All right, and now we're going for a little drive in here. And man, does this thing feel like a Raptor? <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. We actually kind of joke around and tell everybody that we take new Fords and make them better <laughs> because we give them the old look. I agree with that. I definitely could agree with that. I mean, when you sit in here, look at this. You feel like you're in a new, and then you see the hood, and the hood is just, you know, classic, and everything about it, it just, it gives you so much comfort, but so much coolness at the same time. It does, you know, they're, they're really nice and enjoyable to drive, and you can drive them anywhere in the country, you know, and people respect, and they like to talk to you about them, you know, so you get to see a lot of America that you wouldn't see if you're driving a new outfit. I agree with that. Everybody has a story. Everybody's father had an old truck or grandfather or yeah. cousin or neighbor, you know. Someone connects to these. Like, this old metal has a connection with people that new cars just don't. They just don't, yeah. I mean, I took the proof of concept all the way to Maine, you know, and it's pretty cool to be driving through the state of New York and have people yell at you that want to talk to you about your pickup, you know. Oh, man. Absolutely. It was just such a great feeling to see the country like it is. I, I don't even know like usually I'm not someone who is at a loss for words I'm not at a loss for words but it's like you just want to take it in I just want to sit here and enjoy this and I just that's it that's really it uh, what would what are some of the uh, 
some of the things that if you were to do it again, you would change or you're pretty much, this is exactly how you envisioned it, so you're happy with it. You know, this one really come out to basically like what we wanted. You know, it, it's it got all the extra room, it's got the Bronco look, you know, because there's a huge Bronco trend going on right now. So, it's really nice that it is what it is. Um, I can't really think of anything I'd like to change about this one right now. It's got the quiet exhaust on it, so it's going to be really enjoyable to drive. And I think that's one of the big things that's going to be a selling point eventually. You've got 500 and some horse, but yet it's still drivable and enjoyable to, for everybody to be in. It's got the car seats. You can hook your, you know, you can take it for your family. It's just, I think it's a really well-rounded build. What's the history on the build itself? Like, how did how did they come into fruition? When did you come up with the idea, and uh, when did you guys start the execution of the idea? You know what we, what happened is I sold my company, and I wanted to build my 1972 crew cab that I've had forever. <clears throat> and every time, and to be honest, I wasn't ready to cut it up because we didn't know how nice these would end up. So we cut up our 66 first, and the way it turned out. The availability that it's ran out to was just it worked you know so that's kind of how it all started and Corbin you know I mean I joke about it to tell everybody that he used to be a trapper and his brother was a logger you know I say so they build pretty good pickups for a trapper and a logger hey I agree with that definitely for a trapper and a logger <laughs> but uh I think they might have a little bit more credibility these days yeah yeah of course it does but you know, Corbin uh, did a lot of rebuilds back in the day also, so he's pretty well-rounded. He also worked for an old gentleman named Carson Rose, who did kind of the same thing, and I mean, he's kind of what inspired us to go this direction, you know, but unfortunately, he's in his later years now, so, you know, we kind of picked it up, so kind of helped pass on his legacy. That's fantastic. Well, I think... Uh I think that you guys are building some really cool stuff and I think that the more and more people actually get to see them in person and sit in them and you love letting people, here's the keys, go take it around the corner, uh, people are going to start to appreciate it more because when you look at it, I mean this one is really drastic but like your yellow one, like when you looked at it, you had to like look at it a couple times if you didn't know the trucks and uh, I think that one of the coolest things is just to see it like physically see the truck, walk around it, and then you appreciate, you're like, wow, like this is, it's such a craft to be able to do this and such hard work, but it's done, it's here. This is literally something you could sit in, drive, enjoy. And what I think about classic vehicles, I feel like they're literally art that you can enjoy and drive instead of hang it on the wall. Oh yeah. You know, our yellow one, we get a lot of people that just walk by it and they say, wow, that's a nice restored 79. Little do they know the fact that it's a 2014 Raptor, you know, 590 horse with amazing suspension and everything on it. And that's one of the reasons I love to have people drive my pickups because you just don't understand until you sit down in the pickup and you shut the door and you hear it close nice and tight and it doesn't bong and and then you hit that key and it's completely silent in there. It's just amazing. I mean, we're driving it right now and compared to most classic vehicles, there's there's almost no road noise. I'd say it's like a regular new car, which that right there is a feat in itself. I don't even know how you guys do that, but it's amazing. You know, we've, we've fortunately, we've taken the proof of concept and run it far enough that we've changed seals in the doors and we've done a lot of different things get rid of the wind noise because that's one of the things we want is we want you to be able to get in it and actually sit there and be able to communicate with people as you're driving our pickups for Broncos I guess the vehicles you do yes well where can uh, where can people find you guys you know we're in us in the northeast corner of Wyoming in Upton Wyoming we got a little shop up there and you know it's just the three of us basically two most of the time and I come in and they let me do something once in a while, but yeah, that's that's it. That is it. That is it. Well, we're gonna add in some other cool stuff to the video, and uh, we'll catch everybody in a minute. Thank you. Thank you.
all right guys i hope you really enjoyed the video i know i did i had a blast doing this filming this and just hanging out with dan and corbin they really know how to build some stuff so if you have any questions comments drop them down below if you're trying to get a hold of them they're on facebook sweet brothers resto mods and uh if you like the content consider subscribing to the channel and if you want to buy some cool merch got hats all types of stuff check out www.fordera.com we'll catch you in the next one see ya